Hey, it's Elizabeth Counts with Low Carbon. On this episode, we're gonna do seven keto weight loss hacks for meal prep coming up next. Hey, it's Elizabeth Counts with Low Carbon. On this episode, we're gonna do keto meal prep for weight loss, my seven hacks to make your life easier. And who doesn't want that? This video is in collaboration with Frida Family. I will link amazing Frida Family's videos down below for our collaboration and also YouTube, Instagram. Y'all have to check out that channel. I love, love, love Frida Family. So go check them out, but more on that in a little bit. Let's dive into the content, but first give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe. And at the end, I'll also talk about my free weekly keto meal plan email coming up next. Let's dive in. So I just opened them to make sure I had everything set right and they're literally perfect. So I'm gonna get these peeled. I'm gonna get my neck set going. So tip number one is eggs. Eggs are cheap. That is one. Eggs have protein, that is two. Eggs can have fat because keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb, and on my 67 pound weight loss journey, I like to break the misnomer that keto is expensive because it's not. You can do keto very inexpensively and keto on a budget. And one of those ways is, if I can lift them up without breaking them, eggs. So I have videos, I will link down below, how to cook an egg in an Instapot. I was a ride or die girl of cooking them on the stove. And now with my Instapot, it's life changing. You basically take your egg, you put them in and I use, and I use these amazing Instapot accessories, which I'll put in the description link below too. I used to hold the eggs on there. It held seven, but y'all told me last meal prep it could hold as many as I wanted, which was life changing. So I put it on a manual high pressure on my Instapot for five minutes. I will let it natural release for five minutes, and then I'll put it in an egg bath for five minutes. A little icy egg bath. It gets a little Iceland treatment, and um, that helps the shells peel off easier. And then I literally, let me just show you guys. You guys can come in my refrigerator and see. Excuse the mess. We live in real life here. I have in here, see? eggs there's eggs in there so if you want to have things excuse all of my mess real life royal weight loss meets your life so we always have eggs on hand it's great for my little three-year-old for my hot husband and for me just for something to grab like if i'm famished and it's between this and something else this is a great choice and you can use lots of different things with the eggs like an egg casserole hard-boiled eggs um, you can do a lot of things with hard-boiled eggs having them on hand meal prepping here a whole bunch of celery I've got a lot of chopping going on here getting things set up working on my eggs um, but I'm getting these all set to go in little baggies so they're grabs you can just have a keto snack that's all set to grab and eat tip number two is I love having chopped vegetables in my refrigerator just to grab same thing along the eggs I live in royal weight loss meets real life and so it breaks the excuse which I frequently found of we have nothing to eat so I'm just gonna go out to dinner and then eating out keto meal out, um, I would have creepy carbs and there would be weight loss stalls. And so I've learned for me, what's best for me, having things pre-prepped, pre-chopped, like pre-set, I do so much better. And so what I love is chopping peppers, celery, cucumbers, but I love using mason jars. This one has like pink salt rocks. By the way, if you're doing intermittent fasting with me, y'all know I love intermittent fasting. These rocks are awesome for keto or for intermittent fasting. Just to put on your tongue, if you're having some sort of craving, an intense craving, get a pink salt rock or Malden's sea salt. It's high grade sea salt. I will put that in the description link below. It's from the UK. Um, and I love, anyways, I went off on a little tangent there, but tip number two was have your vegetables pre-chopped. So if you wanna grab them and have them with a ranch, have them with a dressing, have them with some olive oil with garlic. Like literally I could just have this dipped with a little drizzled olive oil on top it's amazing. Let's talk carb count in our vegetables though. So let's talk carb count for your vegetables. When you're pre-chopping these, which for keto meal prep for the week, having these lined up in the glass containers makes them last longer and not get so squishy. But let's talk carb count. The best one in my opinion is celery. Celery has three carbs for one cup or one net carb. One net carb per cup. Y'all, I can get excited about that. Spirit fingers. Um, the next one, I have these, for example, a full cup of yellow peppers is nine net carbs, or excuse me, nine carbs or eight net carbs. That's kind of a lot, right? Do you really want this for nine carbs? 
I don't know. It's up to you. You make your own decisions. That's why I would punt to celery or cucumbers. Um, I happen to have these on hand, which is why they're my visuals. But um, a cucumber, one cup is four carbs or three net carbs, depending on which way you're counting. If you're not counting, it's called lazy keto. And that lazy keto is high fat, moderate protein, low carb. So I like having celery in mason jars. We haven't eat all of ours. It's a, it's, a, it's a high quality problem to have. We ate our celery that we dropped. So I don't have any as a visual to show you. Um, excuse my voice. But I love having pre-chopped celery. So and we're gonna open this up. Ta-da, and there's our chicken thighs. I'm gonna start scooping. If you're loving this video, put down in the comments keto meal prep so I know to do more videos just like this one and smash that like button. Now back to the content. And flip my burgers here in a minute. But in the meantime, if you want this Instapot, um, this keto meal recipe in the Instapot, I will put that in the description link below. I'm gonna put my oil on it, all of my spices, and get this bad boy going. Applesauce came to join us. Hi, sweet girl. Okay, I'm gonna flip these bad boys over. These are the Costco ones from my Costco haul. They're very thick. And I wanna make sure they're not like bloody on the middle. So I'm gonna flip these over. And because they're thicker than most burgers, I had them cooked longer than normal. So my tip number three for keto meal prep for um, weight loss hacks. Number three is cook your meats. Cook your meats. I like cooking my meats on Sunday. And Frida Family is awesome. Her YouTube channel is amazing because every Sunday she does motivational meal prep to save money and to help lose weight. Her story and journey is incredible. I will link all of the, the um, information for Free to the Family down below. That channel's inspiring, it's positive. I like good stuff like that. And so on that channel anyways, there's meal prep every Sunday usually um, that comes out. And so that inspires me to get in the kitchen and usually I'll use to cook my meat, my Instapot or my crock pot. Sometimes I'll use my cast iron skillet. But for example, in my freezer, can I, let's go show, let me go show you what's in my freezer. So y'all know what an example, like I already have my Costco meat, which I will link my Costco keto shopping haul down below, but I'll have this all set to go. Like I have other meats in here that I can use. And again, my little boy, you'll see things in here that are not keto, but like here's frozen scallops and stuff. That wouldn't last for three, three days. I wouldn't keep that, but like roast, hamburger, up in here are my free, frozen hamburgers. I have frozen taco meat in here. I will make my meats and then on usually Sunday and have it last for three days, two to three days, depending to eat off of, usually like a roast, hamburgers, things like that. But I like, and my next hack number four for keto meal plan for weight loss is freeze meat. Make your hamburgers and then freeze them. Make your taco meat and freeze them. That way I have to, like I have to, for Royal Weight Loss Meats Real Life, I have to have on hand grabby things because life happens. I have seven businesses. I have a three-year-old. I have a hot husband. We have a foster mentee. <clears throat> like life is enriched just like yours is. So having these grabby things, it prevents from me the excuses. And that's what the bottom line is, is being hundred pounds overweight. I gotta knock out any sort of excuse I mentally have in my mindset that I can't do this or reasons why I can't. I gotta have reasons why I can. And so having things pre-prepped for me is super, super important. So Cook your roast, I will put down below my keto crock pot recipe. That's an easy one. Like you just get a roast from Costco, you can get it from your grocery store and cook it in your crock pot. You don't even have to like saute it. <laughs> so we did tip number one was eggs. Tip number two, have your vegetables prepped for our keto meal prep for weight loss hacks. Tip number three, cook your meats and eat off of it for two or three days. Tip number four, cook your meat and then freeze it like hamburgers, taco meat, egg bakes, sausage, stuff like that. Tip number five, I have to portion out my cheeses and my nuts. If I don't, I'm totally, totally screwed. I will overeat a block of cheese. I love cheese that much. If I was on a desert island, the food I would bring with me would be cheese. I love cheese. But that can be a weight loss stall per, per, mer, mer, blah, 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 per Maria Emmerich interview that I had. I will also link that below. Her, New York Times bestseller. She is amazing. Her information, if you're having a weight loss stall, check your nuts and check your cheeses, which is why I have, I have to check them. <laughs> So I put those in portion bags, like little glass containers. Let me get you my example. Let me show you. We literally have eaten everything. I'm kind of embarrassed, but that's okay. That's real life. Like cheeses like these, I will buy pre-porcelain, but I'd rather buy a block of Kerrygold cheese and slice it, slice it up. So that's one thing. Or I have my pre-shredded cheese here where um, I, if you buy shredded cheese, it has additives and carb, like creepy carbs in it. So get your pre-shredded cheese. Alright, so that was portion out your nuts, portion out your cheeses. Tip number six, 
Know your schedule. I know my schedule usually. <laughs> um, I intentionally try to know my schedule so I can plan accordingly. Like on this night, we're gonna have a roast. This night, we're gonna have like grabby food because we're gonna get home at six or 7.30. Like it's gonna be late. Having things, for example, like this, my cabbage, and that is potent. Woo! <laughs> There's a smell on that. Um, having my cabbage, cabbage and radishes already pre-made, I sauteed those in baking grease. I just keep this in the refrigerator. It's awesome. It's super, super simple to have already pre-prepped, already pre, like yesterday this was my lunch. This is what I broke my intermittent fasting with. I had put a little sour cream on top. It was delicious. I also have on hand, going back to the meats, I always have bacon on hand. When in doubt, bacon. <laughs> and I don't eat bacon to excessive quantities, but definitely this really, really is an easy meal prep hack and a meal prep weight loss hack. Um, that I just, that's what I grab as opposed to like, oh, let's go to Chipotle or, oh, let's go to Five Guys. Let's just make some bacon. And hello, this package is $3, $4, $5 if you got like organic Zsa Zsa. Like get what you do the best you can afford. But getting bacon, that's an easy one. Sausage is an easy one. If you don't eat meat, if you don't eat pork, um, another great one would be like have some chicken thighs all set. You can have the skin off of that or have, you know, you, if, I, we have a lot of vegetarian keto folks following us now. Have your vegetables and then have with that, um, have with that some melted butter and maybe that's like your thing you know what I mean like you don't have like this is the cool thing about keto as I'm going off on my tangent is you can do it however you want like that's the best news can I get a, a thumbs up for the best news like that's the you can do it however you want and however it works into your lifestyle me being a mom to a toddler and having a cold because my toddler is like a snotty germ factory like that may not be conducive for some people and I know I'm gonna get in the comments later on like your voice sounds like a man and I know it does <laughs> But that's okay. I, I'm doing this video for the love, for the for the love of the count as a low carb community. I also talked about having your vegetables pre prepped. This is an example. This is a salad. I don't like using plastic bags. I normally like using my mason jars because they last longer. You get more bang for your buck. And having your spinach in a bag, you can just dump it into a bowl. Served. Dinner served. Right. And that doing all this is batch time. Is your block time of like when you're doing it together, it actually shortens the time when you separate the tasks out. It makes the task actually longer. Like literally, if you count how many times you open and close your refrigerator, like that's a menial example, but it's an example nonetheless. So number six was know your schedule because then you can plan better. You can do your meal prep. You can figure out your weight loss schedule a little bit better. And tip number seven, declutter your space. I know that's not meal prep, but some of y'all need to hear this, myself included. There's a reason why you have a lot of weight to lose. 100 pound weight loss journey. 67 down. 100, no, 100 is my, my goal. There's a reason why. There's a reason why. And I've talked about this on so many different videos. Usually for people who are overweight, it manifests itself in other areas of the house. Clutter, clutter. So today, after I do my meal prep, I'm gonna do 30 minutes of decluttering. I have a whole box that's gonna go to somebody and she's gonna sell at a yard sale for me. Woo! That's very exciting and motivating to me. But usually, <clears throat> in cooking spaces, a lot of times people don't wanna do meal prep because it's cluttery. You could see my dishes over here, you would know. And that's gonna get taken care of. I'm gonna set an alarm, I'm gonna rock it out for 15 minutes and get it all cleaned up. But what I'm sharing with you is usually people don't meal prep, like the excuses that I talked about earlier. What is your excuse as to why you're not doing it? If that's not your jam, it's not your jam, but usually there's a reason why people, it's preventing them from weight loss. And for my keto weight loss journey, I've had to figure out what are the excuses and then what are the solutions. So it's decluttering one of yours, it's decluttering something you need to work on. Uh, that's what my focus is along with this weight loss journey is literally shedding everything that is excess weight clutter junk that's a whole nother video for another day if you are loving this video put down in the comments keto meal prep so i know to do more videos just like this one smash that like button and also make sure you click subscribe i have a weekly free keto meal plan that i offer um you can just sign up down below and each week you get in your inbox a free free and instead of free 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 weekly keto meal plan. And that helps you figure out your meal prep for all the meals that you've been doing. Um, it makes, it saves me lots of money and lots of time by having a strategic meal plan. And it's my gift to the Countess of Low Carb community. That's down in the description link below. And also check out my other series that I had for a full weekly keto meal plan and a full week of keto meal prep. I will also link that series, it's a three-part series, down in the description link below. Make it a powerful day, bye guys.